Thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by NewKeepYour.com. So is our website, NewKeepYour.com. Uh, you know, you can check it out. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to focus on work around to handle inventory part items into finished inventory product items. Let's say you buy uh, certain parts and you, you uh, work on it and convert to uh, a finished product and that's your finished, uh, finished uh, inventory item. Alright, let's see how we can handle that in QuickBooks Online. Uh, I'm on QuickBooks Online. First of all, QuickBooks Online is not uh, uh, designed to uh, uh, handle uh, you know finished goods uh, from raw materials to finished goods type so this is basically basic uh, workaround uh, if you have simple task buying some components and uh, converting into finished good this might work alright so let's go to uh, purchase order here I'm gonna start from purchase order I'm gonna show you uh, the components and to uh, finished goods so let's say uh, I'm gonna order uh, these components and out of these components I will make uh, one uh, gadget number 10 that's the finished product so the, all these parts I guess you can say you can say part row materials uh, and still inventory item and then basically convert uh, gadget number 10 and it's one unit so in this case I'm just gonna order enough to make one gadget so you can order uh, more to put that in stock uh, that's okay. So I'm just going to order one. All right, I'm going to pay for this by check, writing a check to the supplier. Here's the supplier. So these are the ones. I'm going to add all these. Okay, so they are here. So the total cost to buy these materials is 3200 bucks. All right, I'll say uh, today's a date, 8-11. And everything looks good, so I'm just gonna save and close. All right, so it's just saying a couple of days you got that and you worked on it, and now you have a finished product, and uh, uh, ready to ship now. So let's say, so what you do is you go to inventory qu uh, quantity adjustment page here. So what you want to do is move all those raw materials or components. Uh, uh, from uh, uh, inventory list, inventory list to uh, basically uh, uh, make an adjustment in here. So we want to make it zero now. So the 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 account I want to use is inventory adjustment account. So the default is shrinkage account. So for this uh, specific task, I want to use I created inventory adjustment account. It's basically you just go in here and add new it's part of cost of goods sold right here and let's say this is supply the materials let's change this to inventory adjustment account uh, that'll do it I'm gonna select inventory adjustment account right okay and the products you want to uh, uh, transfer is those three products first one is product 11 There we go. Product 11, product 12, and product 13. So the quantity you want to transfer is 2, 2, and 2. So that's, you know, it's change in quantity and you want to select uh, product in here, the class if you have one okay so just remember once you transfer this basically what happens is you will move from your inventory asset account uh, to cost of goods sold type in this case it's a uh, charged inventory asset account so it's credit your inventory asset and debit this so you'll, be, you'll see debit uh, in your cost of goods so account at this point alright so I'm gonna save this 
Okay, let's go to the PNL for this example. So I'm going to do for this month only. As you can see, it's $3,200 as your inventory adjustment account. At this point, you don't have any income. And uh, uh, in theory, this would be zero because you haven't sold that yet. So now we're going to convert uh, you know, those parts to finished goods. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to bill. Bill. All right, a second here. So I'm going to duplicate this. So this month, you should see 3,200 expense so far. And now I'm going to go in here and go to bill. Okay, so so you need to use some dummy vendor. So in this case, I'm going to use zero bill. I already did it. So you can see that the bottom when you uh, when you go to your uh, vendor center, you know, you have your, all your good you know vendors, and then you have zero at the bottom like that okay like this so it's not gonna bother anybody it shouldn't bother you okay so I'm gonna go in here and bill so zero bill so this one will have uh, no PNL impact it will basically be creating your finished goods item so in this case I'm gonna use this the inventory inventory adjustment account and I'm gonna use negative 3200 so that this will wipe out, this will become zero, right? Make sure you have you, you you have this number correct. Thirty two hundred is your cost transfer. Okay, so that goes to account details as negative. And in here, you go you go to item details, and now you want to select gadget gadget number ten. And cost on that at this point is $3,200. So as you can see here, it's a zero bill. And here's zero, right? And now you add it, you created quantity one here. Right now it's out of stock, but the moment, moment you save this, so you, you should see quantity one in here. So the moment you save this and close, now if you go to your inventory list, there's your inventory list. Now you have your gadget number one. It's right here. See, quantity one. This is your finished product, and asset value is thirty-two hundred. Average cost in this case is still the same. Now if you go to your income statement. It should be zero now. There's no PL impact because it's uh, it's an inventory asset account now. So it's zero now, right? So once you create uh, sales receipt or uh, invoice, let's just say you want to create sales receipt for this one. Let's say you sold this on August 26, and let's say the customer is this, and the product you want to select is gadget 10, and quantity is one. Let's say you want to sell this for 10 grand product, and uh, uh, let's say you have you saw sales tax 8% in California here, save and close. Okay, so now if you go to your PNL, as you can see here, sales ten thousand, and your finished goods cost of sold is thirty two hundred, and this number is zero, and here's your gross margin sixty eight hundred dollars. So as you can see here, everything worked out, starting from buying raw materials to converting that to finished goods and selling that to your customer. Everything worked out pretty good. Right here, starting from here, 
converting that to bill, uh, converting that, writing a check, a bill is the same thing, you'll have to pay it. Uh, it will just create accounts payable, of course. And uh, so you have, you know, went through everything. Uh, you know, so as you can see, I still have part number 11, 12, 13 left because I, I'll order uh, twice. You know, so you can order just about enough to convert one unit or whatever you need to put down in stock. It doesn't matter. So the, the process is still the same. Uh, the key here is to get the 3200 number when you convert uh, uh, from uh, your inventory items. So that's it to it. So uh, hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Visit our website. Thank you.